Back at home, a major traffic alert in downtown Norfolk. Waterside Drive is closed this weekend as we look live. This is also crews can demolish a footbridge near St. Paul's Boulevard, and that means you'll have to find another way to get around downtown. Christina Robinson will show you how to avoid this mess, but let's start with Chidu Her and Chidu, why is the bridge coming down? Well, Janet, that is the question that a lot of people have about why this bridge is coming down. But first, before we get into all that, I want to show you what it looks like right now on Waterside Drive. As you can see just uh, right here, uh, parts of the street is already closed down right now. Uh, the city had these streets closed uh, earlier today around 6 o'clock. And right behind me there, you'll see on Atlantic Street all the way down to St. Paul's Boulevard. It is completely closed police are there making sure people don't drive there and if you look up at the bridge there you'll see the work actually already being done now sparks have been flying as they cut into the bridge there and again this happened uh, around six o'clock when uh, uh the city shut down the street here again like you mentioned jen it's been met with questions and uh why they're tearing it down since it's been here for decades and well the city did explain that to us dude come on since the 1970s, this pedestrian bridge has greeted drivers heading to downtown Norfolk off 264. But after all of those years, the city is taking it down. The bridge connected the Sheraton Hotel parking lot to what is now the ADP building. The company shut down the entrance last year and now the bridge isn't in use. But even if it was, the city says it doesn't meet ADA requirements anyway, and the city's pockets are taking a hit due to maintenance. The multi-day demolition will shut down a portion of Waterside Drive, but a project like this has required participation and patience from everyone. Businesses nearby, like the Waterside District, were told in advance and they planned around it. There was a, a notice that went out to all the business owners and operators downtown Norfolk uh, through the downtown Norfolk Council and communication was really key and helped our staff get ready for this weekend. And we do expect a great weekend in crowds. And as you can see, the folks are starting to come in for the early games and it's going to be a great weekend here. All right, so Chidu, how long is this construction going to last? Well, Janet, we're told that this will go until Monday uh, at 5 a.m. And if you notice, there are some concrete pillars right underneath the bridge there. Mm -hmm. We're told as well that those concrete pillars will stay there and be part of public art. All right, Janu, thank you so much. Well, we're helping you get around. Christina's here to show us how to avoid Waterside Drive this weekend. So here's a bird's eye view of this closure. We're talking Waterside Drive from Atlantic Street to St. Paul's Boulevard. It's bound to be a mess if you don't know how to avoid the stretch of the road, but thankfully the detour is fairly simple. I would highly advise you head up St. Paul's Boulevard. You can take a left hand turn on Main Street, East City Hall Avenue or all the way to Brambleton Avenue and that allows you to completely bypass Waterside Drive. Back to you guys.